Got Carlos Anderson with him in the backfield. There's the snap. Rennie drops. Under some pressure now. And he's sacked. Steven Ruppelhammer got him from behind. From the right hash mark, Billy Holgren will be the all-time leading scorer in UNI history by the time the season's over. The hold, the kick, it might have been partially blocked. I think it was, and the Cyclones are going to take over. And in the shotgun is Tiller, two receivers to each side of the formation. There's the snap, Jerome drops. Steps up in the pocket, fires over the middle, and the receiver was being held. There's the flag. It was Darius Darks. A 38-yard attempt. Kick on the way by Mahoney, and it is good. Grant Mahoney connects from 38, and the Cyclones strike first and lead it 3-0. Sends a man in motion, and he'll hand it off. Carlos Anderson up the middle, lost the football, and Iowa State's on it. A.J. Klein came up. It was Roosevelt Majit that forced the fumble. A 46-yard field goal attempt for Grant Mahoney. There's the snap and hold. The kick on the way, and over end, and good! Grant Mahoney buries one from 46. Nothing. Two receivers left, one right. Rennie runs the option to the left side. Pitches last moment, and it's loose. It's on the ground, and it goes out of bounds. Nobody could get on it for Iowa State, but it's a big loss on the play. And a low snap. Rennie goes down to get it. Has time now under some pressure. Steps up in the pocket, trying to run it, and tripped up. Get the 40-yard line. Roosevelt Majit got him from behind. And... Rennie takes the snap, drops. Here comes a blitz from Iowa State. He throws it. It's intercepted by Jake Knott at the 35. Not to the 40. Tripped up at the 43-yard line. 8.02 to play. Second quarter, a 6-0 lead. And here's Tiller to throw it. Left side. Caught. Lens. First down of the Panthers. There's the snap. No rush. Vanderkamp angles it. Hits it high. Good punt. And it is going to be downed inside the... On a second and six play from the 11. Cyclones blitz. Rennie running. And he's tripped up right back at the 11-yard line. He drops to throw. Some pressure coming. Steps up in the pocket. Rennie in trouble. And he's brought down at the 12-yard line. Now they don't. They set up the return instead. And Bernard hits it. It's a good punt again. It'll be taken by Josh Lenz at the 37-yard line. Lenz to the right across the 40. 45. 50. Lenz down the sideline. Keel to hold. Good snap, it is a fake, and Keel rolling to his right, he'll pitch it back to Mahoney, and Grant dives and gets the first down! How about that, Grant Mahoney to the 19-yard line! Big play here on third and 12. There's the snap to Tiller, another blitz coming, he rolls to his right, in trouble, dumps it off in the middle, caught! And it'll be a first down inside the 10-yard line, Cedric Johnson! Quickly back up there on first and goal from the six, and Tiller... He's able to hand it to A-Rob. He fights off a tackle and gets into the end zone. Touchdown! Alexander Robinson took it in from six yards out. Second and ten here from the 20. Shotgun snap to Davis. He drops. Pressure coming up the middle. He throws it out to the right side. Picked off! And this might be a pick six! It's Jeremy Reeves down the sideline to midfield. Reeves is going to take it all the way. Jeremy Reeves, a defensive touchdown for Iowa State two weeks in a row. Well, huge play right there. Obviously, not only stemming the UNI momentum, but giving Iowa State six points and changing momentum back in the football game. But it was And here's the kickoff by Mahoney. High end over end kick. It'll be taken at the six yard line. Carlos Anderson up the middle to the 20 and he's popped. Big hit on the play. Flags everywhere. And the hit made by Jeremiah George on the third and one play from the 19. And he turns to hand it off. Anderson off the left side. Stop short. Jake Knott made the stop. See if the Cyclones can get another third down conversion. Blitz coming. Tiller steps up. Throws over the middle. Caught. Darius Darks first down to the 23-yard line of UNI. Rennie in the pistol formation here on a second down and eight play. Fakes a handoff. Wants to throw it. Some pressure coming. And Jake Knott wraps him up and brings him down. A sack on the play for Jake Knott. 1.30 to play third quarter and Iowa State a 20 to nothing lead. Rennie in the shotgun, two receivers to each side. He drops, rolls the pocket to his left, throws it back across his body, picked off. It's going to be a pick six for A.J. Klein. Back in the game, another defensive touchdown for Iowa State. Well, he tried to second in as many weeks for A.J. Klein. Well, Rennie that time flushes out of the pocket, runs to his left. He throws clear across the field late. And A.J. Klein saw that one coming a mile away. Two receivers left. Here's the snap and the give to Cutcop. Men in the backfield and dropped. 
It was Jake McDonough, a loss back to the six yard line. Yeah. Rennie drops and has some time. Now under duress, he'll run it and tripped up near the goal line. The ball popped out into the end zone and I think Iowa State recovered the fumble. Iowa State did. It. It's a touchback. And that's going to do it. Iowa State pitches the shutout. September 4th, 2004, the last time they did it, that was against you and I. 27 to nothing, the final. Cyclones get the win to approve to 2-2. Two